The combatants are ready. And what's going to happen here? The Whitecaps would love, especially with the Canadian Championship history between these teams. Tider, Wanyama, and that's well blocked by Bikel. And now Piet, testing ball, and it was in a good range and a good area for Rommel Kyoto, but over the top and out as we reach the midway mark of this scoreless first half. Wanyama. Show. Aquanko to his right foot and tipped over. First real save of the game for either side as Orgi Aquanko tested Thomas Asal and the youngster lived up to the show. Inside as he likes to do. Shoots from about 22 yards out. Maybe just a piece there, but good adjustment from Hassal, who uh, I'm very happy to see back in the goal here tonight. And now Kyoto's wide open at the back post. Tider, two targets to aim for, and a good run and header by Banks, and everybody on the Montreal bench leapt up because they got exactly what they wanted there. Direct his header on target. It's a good ball from Tider. Curling away and in behind the defenseman or the defender there, Cornelius and Nerwinski. And Binks, who had stayed up for the original corner kick. Piet finding all sorts of little pockets, picking out Tider. Early ball to Aquaco. Running it, Nerwinski, another effort on goal. Two shots on target, and Thomas Hassal equal to both of them. Gutierrez claims of a white cap foul. Oh! And that could be trouble. That could be trouble. The impact player retaliated. Rudy Camacho was saying that he had been fouled initially, and it's a red card. Rudy Camacho's been sent off. Veteran player, 29 years old, and to react like that is absolutely inexcusable, and he has really hurt his team here. We mentioned that he's been so strong for the impact this year. And when he's been bad, he has been disastrous. And so early into the game, 37 minutes in. Now that angle, that angle there. Well, here we go. Minute 40, and Freddie Montero with a chance to get on the board for the first time in 2020. And goal number 69 in his MLS career. Montero takes it away. And this game has turned on its head with a moment of madness from Rudy Camacho. Missing the one in Toronto against Montreal. Freddie Montero steps up and smashes it home, sending Diop the wrong way, and the Whitecaps have the lead again here at BC Place, but perhaps more importantly, they are up a man for the balance of the game, obviously, depending on what comes next. We saw what happened after Cavallini was sent off in the last game with Maciel joining him. Away it goes from Tybert into midfield, and Freddie Montero is getting under the skin of the impact, and that's a great ball to Milinkovic. Can he get the support from Theo Bear? Can he get the run right here? Milinkovic for Dahomey in a good area, and it's 2 0 Christian Dahomey's second goal as a white cap just before halftime. Monstrous goal, and it's the white caps well on top. Terrific hold up play as you see the long ball forward from Tybert using his devilment against the bigger Fanny. He's able to hold on to it, put it between the legs of Fanny, and away goes Milinkovic. He does the right thing here in the three on two that the Whitecaps create with Dahomey getting forward. And Dahomey from right inside the D, able to slot it home beyond Diop to give the Whitecaps a two goal lead. Get the ball, we were forcing mistakes, but then we did one ourselves. And so. It's very difficult to accept, but it is what it is. We have to concentrate on the second half and try to win this half and see what happens from there. Outside! Tider into the area for Kyoto, who tries to turn, does turn, and makes it 2-1. That's a huge goal! And Romel Kyoto with goal number four for the impact against the Whitecaps cuts the lead in half, and we have a totally new game now. This is what Thierry Henry was hoping to do to stick around long enough. It's an excellent finish from Romel Kyoto. A thundering left-footed volley as he gets into a position in behind Veselinovic, who doesn't play him all that well. He allows the Honduran to spin him. And Kyoto, from not the best of angles, gets a lot of power high into the goal beyond Hassel. The Whitecaps have the killer instinct to get that third goal and put this game out of reach. Malinkovic is one man who could supply it. It's Owusu! Oh, he got a good climb. He got his head to it, but 
got underneath it. The break is on as Jake Nowinski and Freddie Montero are off to the races with Dahomey, who sidesteps Piet. There's room, and it's Freddie Montero. Freddie Montero with his left foot. Big save. Clement Diop keeps the impact alive. Gutierrez on the overlap. But it's Ali Adnan with his left foot, and Diop clean in the six. Very patient, obviously, Thierry Henry. Good ball over the top, and Owusu's there. Montero, great touch back to Owusu. Leo Owusu switches to right. Thierry Henry, I make that. Yeah. Freddie Montero, who stuffs it away off the post and in. And that might just see off the impact as Montero has his second of the game. And when he gets it back, he does what he has done for so many years for the Seattle Sounders and a couple of years ago for the Whitecaps as well. And even in substitute roles last year, that's a good ball forward too from Owusu. And as he gets the return, he holds it up well. And the invitation for Montero is to swing the left foot through it and put it probably the only place that Diop couldn't reach it in off the far post. Owusu. Ali Adnan early ball and it's Gutierrez who's breaking away with Montero looking for a hat trick. Oh, and Freddie Montero swerved it wide. I don't know if he was trying to play it back for Gutierrez or a finish here. I, I genuinely do not know what he was trying to do. Yeah, it's this kind of stuff that you really have to wonder about as Kyoto plays it for Boyan and it's a save from Hassal to deny the Spaniard what would have been a spectacular goal as he unleashed it from a good 25 yards. Boyan from 22 yards or so looking for that top corner. It's a spectacular save Hassal off the ground to steer that one over. Lots of power and even he his body language <laughs> suggesting ah. Uh, and there's the final whistle the Whitecaps end the impacts Canadian Championship hopes Toronto FC will play the Canadian Premier League winner